I'm Sam from the Outlook Riding Academy and I'm here to help you build your equestrian confidence. Today, it's how to wash your horse's tail with just one bucket of water. Now you need to know how to do this so that when you're traveling and competing, that's all you need to get a clean tail. Secondly, in winter, it's not a lot of water to make warm so that your horse is not suffering cold water. And finally, you don't need to wash all your horse, just the tail. So a bucket of water is ideal. So let's head on over and see how I do this. So when I'm brushing, before I do the washing, I'm just starting at the bottom and I'm holding the hair tight so I can't pull strands of hair out. We're trying to keep the horse's hair. So this is how I'm going to wet my horse's tail. So some horses might find they get a cold shudder from it and might hump down. I'm pretty sure Rusty's used to this. No, there we go. He's going to hump down because he just got a cold chill from the water. It's not a cold day and the water's lukewarm, but horses can be sensitive to the cooler water. Now I want to get all this wet. So that's where I'll use my little cup and bring it over and wet the top of the tail. Now we want to look after our horse's tail because firstly, they use it to swish away the flies. Then next, it improves their look if you're going out to competitions or even just at home. The only time that you're going to probably have a very straggly tail is for genetics, if you might have an Appaloosa, they don't actually have terrific tails, or you might have a fence where the horse has caught his tail and pulled some of it out. He might have a paddock mate that also uh, chases him and pulls the tail. Now, it won't matter if you use a horse shampoo or a human shampoo. They're both gonna do a great job. So I'm gonna really massage this in. And while I'm mashing it in, massaging it into the tailbone, I can check for lumps and bumps, nicks and ticks, mites, anything that might be a problem that he's had and I haven't noticed because I've really got my fingers in there all the way down to the bottom of the tailbone, which is just here. So that's how long Rusty's tailbone is. Okay, so now I'm just gonna drag all the suds out before I start going in to do the rinse. I'm gonna use the cup to help me rinse the very top Then um, I'm just going to do what I call helicopter or windmill, just to get excess water out. So now I'm going to use a leave-in conditioner. Uh, it's very effective in human hair and obviously very effective in horse hair. And with this in, I can easily come along now and just pull the hair apart. Now because he's going out in the paddock and I want him to keep that tail clean, I'm going to do a loose plait and then tie it just with an, a, a hair band that I would use myself. Nothing elastic, nothing that's going to break the hair. Now he does need his tail today. There's plenty of flies around. So I will make sure I spray the fly repellent okay, so on. I'm just putting on a spray that will repel the flies for the day because he's got his tail now tied up and I'm trying to keep him in um, top presentation for tomorrow. So seeing as I've taken away the use of his tail for swishing, I'll give him some uh, assistance. Viewers, part two of this video will be out shortly. So there'll be washing ponies tails, adding a false tail and bandaging. Now don't forget to like, subscribe and ring that bell. And until next time, cheerio!